वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम फरमान खान बायोलॉजी इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट लाइट रिएक्शन जेड स्कीम साइक्लिक एंड नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन बट आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज फोटोसिंथेसिस पार्ट थ्री दैट इज डार्क रिएक्शन और सी थ्री साइकिल सो फ्रेंड्स सी थ्री साइकिल डिस्कवर्ड बाई मेलविन कैलविन सो कॉल्ड कैलविन साइकिल C3 cycle was discovered by auto radiography technique and the using by using radioactive carbon 14 first stable product is a 3 carbon compound the first stable product in a C3 cycle is a 3 carbon compound that's why this calvin cycle also known as C3 cycle the total 6 cycles 6 C3 cycles are required to produce one glucose molecule and there are total three steps are involved in c3 cycle that are first is carboxylation second one is reduction and third one is regeneration total three steps are involved carboxylation reduction and regeneration so now we will study the whole pathway of cycle of uh, calvin cycle the co2 uh, is a gas present in atmosphere the c3 cycle pathway starts with uh, co2 co2 is present in atmosphere it enters to the mesophyll cells three molecules of co2 the co2 enters to the mesophyll cells and a compound named as rubp ribulose bi ribulose biphosphate is present the three molecules of rubp that is a five carbon compound it acts as the acceptor of co2 rubp accepts co2 and in the presence of an enzyme rubisco it uh, get converted into a compound named as 3 pga that is 3 phosphoglycerate the phosphate group is present at carbon number 3 this is also a 3 carbon compound the first stable product of c3 cycle is 3 pga that's why calvin cycle named as c3 cycle the six molecules of 3 pga are formed then this process rubp from rubp carb carbon dioxide and to up to uh, 3 pga this process is known as carboxylation carboxylation the next step is the reduction step the 3 pga the six molecules of 3 pga gets converted into 13 bis phosphoglycerate one three bis phosphoglycerate the six molecules are formed six molecules of 13 bis phosphoglycerate now there are two phosphate groups are present in this compound the first one is at uh, carbon number 1 and the uh, second one is at carbon number 3 so total 12 phosphate groups are present in this compound the next step uh, in this step the six atps are used Six ADPs are used, and two six ADP, and six phosphate groups are get added to this compound. That is carbon number from at carbon number one uh, one and third. The next step is this one three bis phosphoglycerate reduced, and it converts into PGAL. phosphoglyceraldehyde the acid get reduced to phosphoglyceraldehyde it acid get reduced to aldehyde the six molecules of pgal gets uh, produced and this pgal is a three carbon compound pgal is a three carbon compound in this reduction step the nadh the six molecules of nadph NADPH2 get reduced to 6 NADH and with this 6 inorganic phosphate 
get also released. In this compound, total 12 phosphate groups were present, but in this reductional step, 6 inorganic phosphates get released out. Now the 6 molecules of PGAL phosphoglyceraldehyde are formed, which is a 3 carbon compound. Now this 3 PGAL further, the 5 molecules of PGAL involved in reg uh, regen regeneration step but the one molecule of this PGAL one molecule of PGAL involved in production of glucose by glycolysis this uh, uh, one molecule involved in the production of gl uh, glucose and five molecules of PGAL involved in regeneration step. This PGAL is a three carbon compound. So the total number of carbons in five molecules of PGAL is equal to five into three is equal to 15 carbons. Total 15 carbons are present here. Now this five PGAL gets converted into ribulose ribulose 5-phosphate ribulose 5-phosphate ribulose 5-phosphate is a 5-carbon compound is a 5-carbon compound and the three molecules of ribulose five phosphates are generated here. So the total number of carbons in this compound is three into five is equal to fifteen. The carbon numbers get remain same, and this ribulose five phosphate then regenerated to RuBP. The three molecules of ribulose five phosphate regenerated to RuBP, but in this step. 3 ATPs are used 3 ATPs are used and the uh, ribulose 5-phosphate is a 5-carbon compound RUBP is also a 5-carbon compound the 3 ATP are used in 3 inorganic phosphate are also used uh, 3 organic phosphate are also used and only 2 phosphate groups are left here so this is the process this is the cycle of uh, the whole cycle of C3 cycle starts from CO2 and ends up with the regeneration process and again and again this process takes place. The first step is carboxylation it starts with the entering of CO2 that is from RUBP to 3PGA is the process named as carboxylation. The second step is reduction. reduction first step is carboxylation second step is reduction and the third step is regeneration friends now you will see the number of ATP and NADPH used in this process we take here the three molecule of CO2 but in reality only one CO2 is used in one cycle so the total number of C3 uh, cycles is six to produce one glucose molecule but according to this as we take three molecules of carbon dioxide so two cycles are required to produce one glucose molecule as the glucose is C6H12O6 three molecules in one time and three molecules in another time so the total number of carbons becomes six so the two cycles are required according to this to produce one glucose molecule but in reality only one carbon dioxide enters to mesophyll cells we take these three molecules just to make this uh, pathway, this cycle easy. But if we take only one carbon dioxide here, then in this step, one PGAL gets divided into glucose and regeneration step. That will become very difficult to explain this process. That's why we take three molecules of CO2. So friends, now the total number of ATP used are 6 ATP here and 3 ATP here. So total 
9 ATP in one cycle but according to this to produce one molecule of glucose we requires two C3 cycles so in 9 ATP in one cycle and 9 ATP in second cycle in second cycle so the total number of ATPs are 18 ATP 18 ATP are used in this process to produce one glucose molecule and if we talk about the NADPH2 so 6 NADPH2 are used in one cycle and uh, we requires two cycles to produce one glucose molecule that's why we used 6 NADPH2 in one cycle and 6 in another 6 in another so the total number of NADPH used are 12 so friends to produce one glucose molecule we requires 18 ATP and 12 NADPH